We're told that the report into the Richard Sharp affair in the BBC, uh, the possibility that he had uh, introduced Boris to uh, the person who was going to arrange the loan uh, of £800,000, or indeed he was instrumental in arranging that loan of £800,000. This has all been investigated by Adam Heppinstall, uh, a barrister KC, and is expected to be announced today. So almost certainly, well, I, I, I assume that the delays in announcing this uh, probably means that the report isn't very good um, or isn't very favourable to Mr Sharp. Um, if uh, if the report isn't, then Mr Sharp would definitely have to go uh, if he's found to have broken the code of public appointments um, by arranging a loan for Boris Johnson or even being involved in that and not telling the various authorities who were appointing him. Uh, of course, we will have to wait and see uh, the outcome for the delays of the report. But if it's revealed that he's failed to declare he's fa he failed to declare the details, then I don't see there's any way in which he can remain in place. And equally, I think there'll be a big question about the government's um, decision to allow Dominic Raab and Richard Sharp to remain in place while these investigations are ongoing. In the meantime, there's a huge uh, civil servants strike today with um, 130,000 civil servants going on strike with members of the PCS union in 132 different government departments. So I don't suppose very much is going to happen today. Uh, otherwise, there just won't be the people to to manage that. So let's see what happens next.